Hey everyone, it's Anton from Pocket Now. Michael behind the camera. We are here in Vegas at CES, the Sony booth, and we are checking out the Sony Xperia Z1 Compact. Some of you might have seen the Xperia Z1 review. If you have not, I encourage you to check it out on Pocket Now as well as on YouTube. This is its compact version, as you can see. It's rather compact phone, but the internals are worthy of the Xperia Z1, which is the flagship for Sony. That means we have the same Snapdragon 800 processor, which is a speedy processor, two gigs of RAM. We have the same 20.7 megapixel camera on the back, which uh, in our review, you will see that uh, generated mixed results, but we'll have to test this one out for ourselves. And it has the battery of 2300 milliamp hours, which is the biggest in its category. As you can see, it's a uh, phone which, among the large phones of today, can be called a smallish phone. So about the only big difference between this and the Z1 is the screen size. We got a 4.3 inch phone, which by today's standards is a small display, but believe me, it is uh, a good size for pocketability and in-hand feel. It's got a 720p display with triluminous technology, just like on the Z1. And of course, Sony ships with their screen protector on board. Side visibility, I'm very happy to report that it's more improved than on the Z1, which was also much more improved over the Z. Just like its bigger brother, the Z1, the Z1 Compact is also a waterproof phone. And uh, we got one flap here to cover up the uh, USB port, but else the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is treated just the same way the one on the Z1 is. So you can uh, have one flap less. Now, in terms of software, we are seeing the same Sony UI, which we've seen on the uh, Z1 running on top of Android 4.3 if I recall well. And as you can see, it's rather fluid because the Snapdragon 800 is doing an awesome, awesome job at keeping up with tests. It's basically the same experience which you have gotten on the Xperia Z1, which we reviewed. Again, I encourage you to see it again. And we'll be back with some more coverage on the Z1 Compact, maybe some comparisons in future videos. So stay tuned for more. Thank you very much for watching.